by the way, he's not just born of a woman, he's born under the law so that he might redeem those who are under the law. And what does this redemption look like? I'm so glad you asked, because both sides of this are incredibly important. He's born under the law because we are guilty, born in sin, but we are also guilty because this sin nature is the very reason that we break and violate the law of God. So we have a double problem. Problem number one, we have the, the sin that we were born with and we're guilty because of that. Problem number two, we have this law of God that we are commanded to keep. And because of the sin that we're born with, we are wholly unable and unwilling to keep this law. So any man born of ordinary generation is going to have this same problem. Number one, God requires those of us who are born under the law to keep the law and be actually righteous. But you will not and cannot keep the law and be actually righteous because you're born under the federal headship of Adam and with a sin nature. You, you in trouble. What has to happen? The seed of the woman has to be born without a sin nature, number one. And number two, he has to be born under the law and keep the whole law so that he can be actually righteous. <laughs>